and welcome back ladies and gentlemen today we're going to be looking at how we go about setting our margins in microsoft word remember to do the customize like and subscribe now you don't have to settle for the preset options in word where your margins are set one inch away from uh, the left side of the page or the top or the bottom you are afforded the means of changing that by going to your layout tab and from your layout tab within your page setup group you have a margins option here if you click on the margins you will see the current highlighted uh preset format is normal top left bottom and right are, are set to one at the moment you then have a set of um uh preset pre-arranged or prepared um options that you can choose from quick presets that you can choose from um here on the left on the margins right so if if any of these suit your purposes well then you could go ahead and choose if you're doing a a uh, magazine, for example, where you would normally start typing much closer to the uh, edge of the page rather than the one inch margins, then you would choose the narrow here, 0 0.5. And there's a blue line that they show you in the preview here. Uh, the blue line indicates where your text will, will essentially start and stop. All right, so you could choose from the presets here or if none of these suit your current ambitions, you could go to custom margins instead at the bottom section here. Some persons who are new to uh, Office and Word in general sometimes miss this because it just seems like a label that they put at the bottom. But essentially it is an option. So if you click on that, you get the pop-up applet. And from here, you could then choose your own defaults accordingly for this particular uh, Word document, all right? Um, so you go about setting your margins, top left margin, the gutter position is essentially uh, the option afforded to you to um, provide some extra space from the left or the top of the document uh, because Microsoft assumes that you probably will print this document eventually. And when you do print it, although you have the margin set, you might need some extra space to maybe bind the document um, together, bind those pages together, or staple those pages. And you don't want to be stapling or, or binding you know, on the text directly. So the gutter essentially gives you a, a little bit more space to bind the document. And of course, you only have the top and the left because you wouldn't be binding the right side of the page. If you're doing that, it means then that you would be essentially uh, starting from the back of the, the book or the, um, your paperwork and then making your way to the front, which wouldn't make much sense. So you would be binding the left or the top. Uh, and that's what the gutter position indicates. So you could choose to change the bottom, the right, the top or the left, or even add some gutter space into the top or the left side. Under orientation, you could change the orientation. If, if printing landscape gives you more, um, space if it works out better aesthetically that way then you could do landscape as well this is just for printing on the pages you could choose how you want to print those pages you could mirror the margins um, on each page you could choose to print two pages per sheet and each time you choose one of these it gives you a, a preview of what that will look like right and so if you are if you essentially um are, are printing and you have specific conditions that you want to meet for your printing preferences, then you could choose that here. This gives you, you know, that sort of antecedent conditions before you essentially print. So you could change all this information here, all these options here, and then hit OK. There's also a paper tab here. If you click on that, of course, if you set your margins, but you're using a different set of paper than the normal uh, paper, uh, printing paper that we use, then it still would defeat the purpose, right? So this gives you an opportunity to, to tell your uh, print up, tell Word what type of uh, paper 
paper you're using to print if it's the long paper for example um that means that word would put the margin at the bottom of 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 that um paper you might be printing a tabloid ledger uh, it might be a legal document it might be an executive document and so forth and so on several different options here most of us won't ever use uh but just in case you do have the option and, and if none of these uh suit your preferences it might be that you need to choose some custom size and you have that afforded here all right there's also a print option that sometimes we most times we don't look at but you could also go into that print option here um if you have specific criteria that you you have to meet this i i would advise that persons go through in their own time to see if if there is indeed any of the options in here that they would like to include in the printing options and then finally there is a layout which is also self-explanatory if you have headers and footers um, in your document, you could choose where you want the headers to, to start to be displayed. Um, you could choose if you want the headers on odd pages or on even pages. You could choose when you insert sections in Microsoft Word. You could choose where the section starts, if it's on a new page or if it continues on the same page. Most users won't be using sections in their, um, in Microsoft Word unless, you know, you know, you're printing a magazine where you have columns and and uh, specific um, needs within that document where you do need to have different sections each time and different pages with sections on there. For the most part, with where our margins are concerned, we're going to be um, setting the margins from the margins option here and essentially the top section on the margins. And then you have the extra set here at the bottom. Once you're done with that, Go ahead and hit OK. And once you hit OK, I'm going to hit cancel on mine. But once you hit OK, it will essentially put uh, or apply those settings for you. So that's always from your layout tab. And under layout in the page setup group specifically, you would go to your margins option and choose custom margins if none of the margins here work for you. I hope you find this tutorial useful. And if you do, be sure to be on the lookout for other tutorials just like it. Um, and in order for you to get those, you're going to have to do the customaries. Like and subscribe. Thank you for viewing today.